Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at the latest release, the latest collaboration beer from Stone Brewing. This is the Collective Distortion IPA. Coming in at 9.3% is an IPA brewed with elderberries and coriander, also featuring Nugget, Comet, Calypso, and an experimental Australian hop. Let me get this one into a glass so you guys know it smells taste and give you the final verdict on the Collective Distortion IPA. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Collective Distortion Oh, wow. Big, big orange dankness. A little bit of lime, tropical fruits, mango, lots of pineapple, subtle maltiness, but a big tropical orange danky, excuse me, type of character in this one. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the taste and the collected distortion IPA. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, it's a stone IPA right there from the tongue. A huge pop of bitterness, middle of the mouth. Um, you know, it's weird. I'm getting that coriander. Definitely a coriander kind of herbal, earthy spiciness in there. Lots of orange peel to this one. Lots of orange characteristic. A very, very big dankness in there as well. It's like orange peel dankness, if that makes any sense. Um, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of a tropical aromatic kind of sweetness um, in there as well. Super dry finish on this one in the aftertaste. Definitely getting that dankness in there as well. A pungent kind of hop resin uh, residue hanging out there. Subtle kind of bready maltiness in there as well. 9.4%. You don't taste that alcohol at all. Again, you know, as most of these big stone beers are, you don't get a lot of the alcohol. Definitely there in the sweetness though. A um, little bit of sweetness in the mouth. Not, not a lot, but it's definitely there. It's a nice drinking IPA. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Stone Collective Distortion IPA, available now. Get it while you can. Limited quantities, guys. Going to give this one an A-. minus. You know, as far as a Stone IPA, it's pretty much par for the course. Big, big hop characteristic, nice dry malt finish. Um, the, the, kind of the twist on this one is adding the elderberries and the coriander. The coriander's there very slightly, a little bit of elderberry to it. It's kind of a fruitiness uh, in there. But is it that different than what you've had from Stone? Not really, if, as far as our IPAs, but is is that a bad thing? Not at all. You know, it's another great stone IPA. Um, this one to me has a little bit more malt characteristic, a little bit more sweetness than I'm used to in a uh, more tropical flavor than I'm used to in a stone IPA. So that's kind of nice to have in there. And you know, the people involved with this beer are awesome. So it's hard for me not to give this one at least an A-. So with that said, getting an A- for me. And remember folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.